In a world facing the continued pressure from climate change, forests provide part of the solution. Trees in growing forests suck carbon dioxide from the air and convert it into carbon within usable solid wood. This process is known as carbon sequestration. While nature does this naturally, humans can benefit from this process by investing in forest products. In recent years, an emerging building material called mass timber has made its way into the construction industry. Mass timber is a state-of-the-art technology that uses glues and nails to join together wood into beams, columns, and panels. Joined together, mass timber has comparable tensile strength to steel and the compressive strength of concrete. The market for mass timber has grown primarily in Europe and the Pacific Northwest. In order to continue promoting growth of the mass timber market in the U.S., the Forest Business Network and Wood Products Council hosted the 7th International Mass Timber Conference in Portland, Oregon. This conference attracted over 3,000 attendees, exhibitors, and speakers from around the world to learn more about mass timber. While at the conference, Keeping Forest was able to interview a few of these attendees. I came to the International Timber Conference to hear what other people are thinking about mass timber, where the industry is going. Um, it's really great to be here to learn about what's working and what's not working. Um, I think it's fascinating to me that, that as I talk to people, I may be one of the only foresters in the room right now, um, and everybody wants to understand where their wood's coming from. Increased demand for sustainable wood products, like mass timber, incentivizes investment in forests and even the conversion of land to forests. Forests in the U.S. South are actively managed and are replanted for a continuous cycle of growth. The USDA Forest Service reported forest inventory and analysis, or FIA data, that shows southern forest volume is increasing. This is in part due to improved management techniques being adopted across the U.S. South. If a market for mass timber is to expand into the U.S. South, architects and engineers will need to adopt the material into their plans. I'm Tyler Maloof. Um, I work for WBA Architecture in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, and I'm a project manager on um, a mass timber building that we are designing currently in Mississippi. I've always been interested in mass timber. I think what helps is my family um, is in the timber and forestry business. My family has a sawmill in Alabama, so, you know, been immersed with forestry and timber my whole life. Um, and then went to Auburn University where it's pretty prevalent as well. Um, and so always have an interest in so when uh, we have the opportunity to potentially design a mass timber building, I was really excited and wanted to come here and learn more. Having roots in, in forestry and family is exciting just because we can see the sustainable product and the economic um, you know, growth in this in mass timber being able to utilize that. Um, seeing you know, something kind of from our family come into fruition and what I'm doing now as a designer is really exciting. Using her background, Maloof is now the project manager of a new mass timber construction for the Mississippi Forestry Association headquarters. We are finding that a lot of architects and engineers in Mississippi Our building project and through other uh, efforts of our foundation our, and our association that we'll be able to better communicate to architects, engineers, general contractors on what mass timber is, how they can utilize it. The U.S. South has seen a few new manufacturing facilities pop up including Smart Lamb North America, Sterling Lumber, and Texas CLT. These facilities are taking advantage of the niche market and leaving their mark on the industry. Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest obstacle to overcome is the fast-paced growth, uh, keeping up with the growth, but at the same time, uh, having the, the capacity currently with the CLT volume and glue lamp volume to supply these jobs in a time frame that is acceptable to the general contractors, owners, developers. Smart Lamb North America recently announced a $74 million investment to build a glue lamb beam facility and to automate the Dothan, Alabama plant. It's clear to see that the mass timber industry is growing in the U.S. South. But how long will this trend last? To ensure that the mass timber market doesn't burn out, we need to help expand capacity.
We need to educate more people about the benefits of using mass timber, lower greenhouse emissions, lower costs, quicker construction, and supportive of Southern forest landowners. Keeping Forests will continue to push forward for the adoption of mass timber across the U.S. South. To learn more about Keeping Forests, visit our website at www.keepingforest.org.